everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, long time no see. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed about not filming a video for a long time, but I promise I am going to get back on my game. My cousin actually helped me film this. So, we've actually been sitting outside for about three hours filming this because my camera was like going berserk and it was like running out of storage. So, I finally got to finish filming this, but I filmed this really beautiful goldish beige glitter look and it's perfect for holiday parties i gave three lip options so i really hope that you guys enjoy this video and that you are looking forward to seeing many more from me so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial so first i'm gonna start off with makeup geek peach smoothie and creme brulee and i'm just gonna put this in my crease for a nice transition shade And then also another shadow from Makeup Geek, I'll be taking the color Frappe, which is just a really nice warm brown. And that's just going to add a lot of warmth and definition to the crease as well. And then I'll be mixing Corduroy and Brown Script from MAC. So I'm just going to be kind of focusing that mainly on the outer sides of the crease so that way I can really get a nice deep rich color. But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through if you So then I'm going to be mixing Embark from MAC and Mocha from Makeup Geek And I'm just going to be applying that mainly on the outer crease once again And blending it inward so that way I get a really nice transition And there's no harsh lines And it doesn't look like it's like two different colors And they don't blend seamlessly so then I'm going to take the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and OCC Beige Glitter. I'm going to pat on the glitter glue and then take a flat brush and apply the glitter straight on. And this is just going to really help for the glitter to adhere and so that way we don't get as much fallout as we would if we didn't use the glitter glue. So then I'm going to be priming my skin and I'm going to use the Nivea Post Shave Balm. This makes my foundation adhere to the skin super awesome. I have no problems with it. I really, really enjoy it. And then I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation all over my skin with a Morphe brush. This has been my obsession. It's a Morphe M439. It's amazing and it blends out so nicely and it gives such full coverage. I'm completely in love with that. I have four of them now. Now I'm going to be taking the NYX HD concealer and I'm going to let y'all know right now I'm about to say it, I don't like this concealer whatsoever. I'm just trying to finish it up. I don't like it. I don't like the consistency. I don't like the way it sets. I don't like the way it looks. I just really am not a fan of it. So if I had like a drugstore concealer that's my favorite, it would be the Maybelline Fit Me definitely hands down. And then to of course prevent any creasing, I'm going to use the Ofa Translucent Powder and I'm going to bake underneath my eyes. So for contouring, I'm going to use MAC Shadester and I'm just going to apply that on the cheekbones, on the hairline. I'm going to contour my nose, but I didn't show that. And then I'm going to use Ambering Rose and Cantaloupe from MAC and I'm just going to apply that on the apples of the cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm going to use this Ofra Cosmetics Highlight. I believe it's in the shade Blissful, if I'm not mistaken. I got it in my Ipsy bag a long time ago, and it doesn't have a name on it. But if I can find it, I will definitely list it down below in the description box. So I went ahead and I lined my eyes 
with just a Jordana liquid eye pencil in the shade brown like I normally do and then I just smoked it out with the same colors that I used in the crease. So then I'm going to be using the Coco Goddess Lashes. These lashes are bomb and then I just prep my lashes with curling in them and then I'm going to use the duo brush on an adhesive because I'm allergic to the regular one. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to pop them on with some tweezers. So I'll be giving three lip options. The first one is Wet n Wild Smokin' Hot Pink with LA Girl Glaze Lip Paint in Pin Up, which is a beautiful classic reddish pink glossy look. And then also Revlon Black Cherry Lipstick, which also looks bomb with this look. And then Nude Lip Pencil from Rimmel, and I actually put Lolita from Kat Von D on top. So I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.